Hello my crafty family. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Anthony and um, I like to share my junk journals and crafting and crafting supplies where I pick up certain uh, crafting supplies for junk journaling. So I'm here today to share with you a Goodwill junk journal supply haul. The day that I went to Goodwill the pink stickered items were half off um, as usual. I didn't find very many of the half off items but I did find a few so uh, let's jump into it and let you see different items you can pick up at Goodwill to use in your journals or use to make journals, junk journals. Uh, I'll start off first with like the textile type stuff, um, fabrics and things. I found these crocheted like doilies or placemats. Um, these actually, I did get two of them, they were actually half off. So I paid a dollar for these. It's this pretty burgundy color. They were priced at $1.99, so I got them for a dollar. But really pretty. I thought I can use these in the journal on the cover or something. So I got two of those. Then this here was $1.99. I just love the rose uh, print that was on it. And I figured I could use this material here. I think it's a balance. Let me see. Yes, it's a it's a curtain balance. So it's a lot of material that I can use for some journal covers. pretty rose print and then I found this which is a tablecloth I did see this little stain here um, it was $2.99 but I thought I could cut out the different florals that are on here and use them as appliques and use some of it as you know material for a uh, fabric cover, cover even if I cut this off I can use it for trims but it has large and small flowers on there that I could fussy cut out so that's a lot of material for $2.99 well, that's it for the fabric. I love to pick up napkins. I pick up napkins anywhere and everywhere. Because I love to use them in journals and for decoupaging. So this one here, I paid 25 cents for it because it was half price. And it has a bunny rabbit within a bunch of Florals. Let me see here. I'm going to open it and see exactly what I get here. Okay, so there's a couple bunny faces you can actually see in there. This one has a little pink gingham ribbon. And there's flower, um, flowers. Uh, Easter eggs, some butterflies, so really pretty, that would be great for Easter journals. So then I picked up this one, didn't realize till I got it home that it actually is Mackenzie Child. I paid 50 cents for it. I just liked it because it was different. On this side it has 
the um, whistle. And this one has the, the bird all dressed up. Let me see. I can open this up. Um, so this one, this is what it looks like. Really different. But I like the black, white, and red on these. So yeah, I got that. And then the last one I got, uh, I think it says pronounced Ambiente Luxury Paper Products. And I paid 50 cents for these. get four pictures on this one. So I like that. I don't have anything I don't think with this color combination of bright yellow and lime green. So I can actually use the border for trim or border on something and use the, the actual picture with the houses and the water and something separate. So there we go with that. And let's see here. I did pick up this package of cards. I just like the colors. It's, I think there's only like four in here, but I paid 50 cents for this. These are from People's RC.org. So it has the art, um, the artist's name on the back. So I got this one, this one, they're blank note cards. And then this one here, and this one. And then there's envelopes to go with them. So. I thought those would be nice in a journal. Let me leave that out. Then I picked up these. Um, they're invitations, but I picked them up. I can save that. Um, they have a cardinal on them and they say happy holidays. So I got these for Christmas journals. I would cover that up. And these are from um, Party Express from Hallmark. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it was a complete package. So I got those. Then this I paid 50 cents for. It's a package of the little white bags. I like to put these in journals. So pink sticker, so it's half price. So yeah, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 little white bags. So these would be great for journals. I did pick up this list pad. It says work hard, play hard. This would go great in my um, like exercise journals. So went ahead and got that. Comes with the pen. And I love the colors on that pen. So for 99 cents. I grabbed that up. Then I got a couple um, packs of stickers, or a few. 
So this one here, this is an old brand I used to see at Dollar Tree years and years and years ago when they used to carry a lot of the scrapbooking stuff. Actually, this packaging is the same, you know, packaging they had, the company. Um, it says scrapbook embellishments, and it's a travel theme. So I paid 50 cents for it to add to my uh, travel uh, junk journaling kit. So then I found these winter stickers. Um, these were 50 cents, so they're little snowflakes. So you get four sheets, and it's never been open. And then this one here from the Paper Studios, originally $4.99, and I paid $0.99 cents for them, but love the roses. So I got a few things that would actually go together pretty nicely. This with that uh, fabric, these stickers will look nice with that fabric. And then also, I got this stationery, it's a letter set. 10 envelopes, 15 sheets of letter paper, and I paid 99 cents for it. But look at these pretty envelopes. So let's see how much is here. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. So all of the envelopes were there. And then this is the paper that comes with it. So, yeah, I thought that would be nice. Like that there could be a start of a kit. So, got those. And I picked up these little favor boxes. This was originally from the Dollar Tree. It says, let the sand be your seat as the waves hit your feet. And I thought I could put that with my beachy themed items. And I paid 25 cents for this. So, I mean, good price being that my Dollar Tree is now $1.25. But you get five little favor boxes in here, which I figured I would cut these up and make tags. I mean, and it, it could also be put in a journal and used as a pocket, like side pocket, or this way, so it, the reading is straight up and down. But yeah, grab that. Then some more cards. I love looking for note cards and um, playing cards, things like that, that I can put in my journals. So this here, I paid 99 cents for it, and how many cards did I get? So they have this, I don't know, I like these, they're masculine, I'm always looking for more masculine looking items for journals, but there's one, two, three, four, five cards, nope, six cards, six cards, and one, two, three, four, five, six envelopes. So I went ahead and picked these blank note cards up for 99 cents. And I picked up this package of colored pencils, which is brand new. It's $1.99 is what I paid for them. And this would be cute to include in one of my granddaughter's um, Easter basket. Uh, it's for ages three and up, and it is a brand new set. I'm trying to open it here. Look at that. A nice set. Never been used. So I'll grab that. Then I found these Victorian Flowers rubber stamp collection. A little bit pricey, but 
I thought they would be nice to add. And the packaging is just gorgeous. Uh, this $3.99. So it comes with a garden of 19 Victorian flower stamps plus washable ink pad. And this was by uh, Cynthia Hart. But this is what it looks like. Let's turn that around. Let's see, there's hearts and flowers, butterflies. There's some floral, um, what do you call it? Like a garland or vine. So, yeah, I went ahead and picked that up to add to my stamps. And um, I can use this in many different things, journals, Parisian, um, vintage, Victorian, floral, whatever, rose journals. So yeah, I thought that was worth grabbing. Then I found this little, it's called a mom's brag book, just a little photo album, but I like the little um, rabbits on there. I was thinking of cutting this apart and making a little journal. You know, use the front and back for the cover. This I only paid 50 cents for. It was marked at 99 cents. So I got that half price. And this is uh, the Beatrix, Beatrix Potter collection. 1990. So, I don't know. I just thought that would make a cute little Easter journal. Or spring journal. I did pick up these prayer cards. Now I normally get these at my Dollar Tree, but I haven't seen them in a while. And now that the price has gone up to a dollar twenty-five at my Dollar Tree, I figured I might as well go ahead and grab it. Um, it comes with uh, twenty prayer cards. I'm not sure how many is in here, but these are, you know, by Crown Jewels. I paid ninety-nine cents for them. It's, you know, better deal now to get at that price. But I love including these into my prayer and gratitude journals. It says today's prayer on the front. And then on the back it has a Bible verse. So, let me see how many are in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it is a full box. So, yeah. Got those. Put that back later. Then I found this. Um, it's like a wedding journal. But all this paper in here that could be used, actually I could take it apart and use it as, and make a wedding journal out of it. But that's the picture on the front and I paid 99 cents for it. It does need a new elastic. It's pretty stretched out, but I figured for 99 cents I could do something with that. Okay, I found these tags. These are the Celebrate celebrated brand. These are originally five dollars and I paid a dollar for them. They were half price but I figured I can use these in different journals that I have you know put kits together for. This one here would be cute in another peacock journal as well as the feather. Comes with the string and everything. I think it is brand new full pack. Um, I could use some of these in my boho journals. This one, shaped like an Easter egg, would be great in a Easter spring journal. This one could go in a boho journal. This says, you are lovely, and then it says, make it sparkle, and it's party time. So cute little tags for a dollar. And it says you get 48 pieces. Okay, I found some paper items. This purple paper here is it's a 10 pack of grape 8.5 by 11 cardstock um, by Paper Source. So I went ahead and grabbed that 
for 99 cents. I love this pink purple color. Really pretty. And then this paper I got for 50 cents. And I guess this is the names of the paper that's in here. Lap Lap of Luxury, I guess, is the, the name of the paper pad or whatever it came from. Pretty in Pink, Basic Gray, Concord Crush, and Berry Vanilla. So let's see. I just figured I could use it on something, in something, in a journal. So there's some scrap pieces there. And then they're double-sided. So this one says, Life is Beautiful. And then that's what it looks like on the back. There's two of those. Then there's two of this one here. And this is what it looks like on the back. And then there's this one. And if I don't like them, I can actually, you know, uh, collage over them and make tags or something out of them. So there's this one, there's two of each so far. This one has a purple color with a pattern on the bottom. Then there's this one with a pink design on it. And then this print on the back, another strap piece. And that's it, and I can use this to make tags or something out of. So I'll just put that aside. And I can use these bits and pieces for collaging or either making some tags or other ephemera. Then the last two items are books. I found this book here and it's called How to Make Your Own Make a Mix Cookery 200 Tested Recipes to Save Time and Money made with 58 easy do it rec yourself recipes <sighs> made with 58 easy do it yourself mixes better nutrition no preservatives enjoy delicious breads breakfast main dishes appetizers and super desserts great for gifts and camping too um, but I got this because I it looks really old. Let me see what's the it's probably not that old, but let's see copyright date <clears throat> 1978 is the copyright date. And I mean I could tell it's old, the color pages are turning. But I thought I can use this in my cookbook journals. So yeah, I grabbed that. And these, the soft cover books at my um, local Goodwill are 99 cents. So that's what I paid for that. Then my plan is to get back into my scrapbooking, scrapbooking my pictures and stuff. So I have an area set up at the other end with most of my scrapbooking items. So I picked up this book, All Girls Scrapbooking Pages by Memory Makers. The growing up years. This also was 99 cents because it is a soft cover. And I do have twin girls. So just some different um, page layouts. I, I picked it up so I could get some inspiration <clears throat> once I jump back into scrapbooking my pictures. So I went ahead and grabbed that. So that's, oh no, that's not it. I was about to say that's it, but I got a few things over here. I did find um, this knit and crochet yarn. I like using these for binding journals. I paid 99 cents for this roll. So it has like a iridescent fiber running through it. So I thought that was pretty. And it's brand new. So 80% acrylic. So I grabbed that. Then I found this cute little stamp. Did I say I paid 99 cents for that? This cute little stamp I paid 50 cents for, and it's a little doggy. 
see that and it's been used but not very much from what it looks like and yeah I can't see who the stamp is by but it's really cute and like I mentioned I love picking up playing cards when I can find them so I paid 50 cents for this deck of cards and it has donkeys on it so I like to put these in my journals <clears throat> so pick up those and then the last item are these cards here not sure what kind of cards they are but they were 50 cents and they're blank on one side but then they have little dots like you would see in a bullet journal so yeah I got that these will be nice to make journaling cards out of for my junk journals so that's it if you like these kind of hauls please give me a thumbs up feel free to share the video if you'd like and if you have not subscribed please feel free to hit that subscribe button of my small little crafty YouTube family here until the next one, everyone, keep crafting.